Today's Big Eye is all about eyes. Uh, an MIT team has developed a cheap, portable eye examination system requiring only a smartphone and a $2 plastic lens attachment. Now, there's huge potential here in developing countries that lack expensive optometry equipment, but as we've learned, are awash in mobile phones. As a result of that, you can use mobile phones for diagnostics that you otherwise couldn't get to people. Nearly 700 million people in the developing world have uncorrected vision impairment that affects things uh, that they have to do every day, and it ups their risk of blindness if, if it's not treated. Now, Ramesh Raskar is an associate professor at the MIT Media Lab, the famous MIT Media Lab. Uh, he joins me now. Ramesh, this is um, an interesting extension to this whole idea that we, we don't have doctors everywhere, we don't have labs everywhere, we don't have clinics everywhere, but, but cell phones have been able to go where, where people can't go all through the developing world, so why not put a diagnostic tool for uh, eyeglasses onto a, onto a smartphone? Exactly, exactly. I mean, all we have is a, is a dollar clip-on eyepiece that goes on top of your cell phone, you yep. look through it, click on a few buttons, hit calculate, and it gives you data for your eye prescription for your nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. And in interestingly enough, it doesn't need to read your eye to do it. It's giving you something to look at, and then you are using the phone to indicate. So your res the, 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 uh, the response is from you uh, as data to the phone. Exactly. I mean, the, the, the key here is that for cell phones, the resolution has improved to such an extent because people want to watch you know, HD movies on their cell phone displays, that the pixels are now down to 28 micrometers, which is half the width of a human hair. And at that resolution, these cell phones today can start doing tasks that could previously be done only by highest end scientific instruments. So tell me how it works. You put your eye up there, and then you are using the, what, what are you telling the phone? What are you doing as you see whatever comes onto the screen? I guess it's like when I go for an eye test, I'm seeing, uh, I'm, I'm seeing uh, objects, and I'm determining whether they're blurrier or clearer, uh, depending on which way I toggle on the phone. Exactly. I mean, if you think about the traditional reading charts, uh, where you have to put on some kind of a foropter or trial lenses, it's, the task is very challenging because you have to decide which line is sharpest. Uh, and this thing still cost you know, hundreds of dollars uh, to make it happen. On the other hand, what we have done is we have converted your blurriness or sharpness Ramesh, problem. Ramesh, hang on one second. Just hold on for a second. Uh, the President of the United States is, uh, is at the White House. He's signing the bill that we uh, told you about earlier into law. This is the small business tax breaks. Let's just listen in while he does that. I am thrilled to be here uh, on what is uh, an exciting day. Uh, I, I want to begin by recognizing uh, the members of Congress who fought so hard uh, to pass this bill on behalf of America's small businesses. Uh, a lot of work was, uh, was involved in this, obviously, but there are a few uh, folks who are here on stage I want to make sure to acknowledge. First of all, uh, my dear friend uh, and my senator uh, from the great state of Illinois, Senator Dick Durbin. A champion for businesses in Louisiana and around the country, and Senator Mary Lander is here. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll keep one ear on that. Our producers will to uh, let us know if the president says anything that we need to bring to your attention. For the moment, he's uh, thanking a bunch of folks, and then he's going to sign this bill into law. Let's go back to uh, Ramesh Raskar. He is the associate professor at the MIT Media Lab. Ramesh, last I left you, you were showing us that chart on, uh, on your left, my right, uh, and, and saying that while that is still used, this phone is using its resolution. This, this technology that you've introduced uses the phone's resolution and, and the input of the, uh, of the user to determine your eye prescription in a place where you otherwise can't get access to a, an optometrist or, or an ophthalmologist. Exactly. And instead of, instead of deciding which line is sharpest, when you look through this phone, we will show you a, a set of lines, and your goal is to simply align those lines. Uh, and when they're aligned, uh, you just hit calculate. Um, and so because we're converting this task into something that's more objective, I mean, anybody can align lines, um, the results are more accurate. Uh, when is this available and how will it likely be available? We're used to downloading apps for a certain amount of money onto smartphones. This is a little different. It's a hardware app. Yes. So uh, the, the clip-on is extremely cheap. Uh, we can build it for a dollar or two. Um, and our, 
initial goal is to make it available in developing countries where, as you said, you know, more than half a billion people have uh, lack uh, corrective vision, which leads to poverty and illiteracy. So our initial goal is to provide the software app for free and provide the clip-ons uh, to NGOs. Um, but, but I think we are, this is an indication that the phones can now be used beyond pure uh, yes. communication or, or micropayment. And by using the hardware of the phones, now I can imagine an era where we have hardware app store, yep. where you might buy a dollar or two clip-on uh, in the right. hardware app store, and that will be used for your health and productivity and entertainment. Great, great way to think about it. And thank you for, for reminding us that part of the point of this is that if you're, if you're hard of uh, sight, uh, it, it contributes to illiteracy and that contributes to poverty. So thank you for that. Uh, love the work you do at the MIT Media Lab. Ramesh Raskar is the associate, pro associate professor at the MIT Media Lab. For more information on this, go to my blog, cnn.com slash alley. What a great, great idea. Is the recession over?